This episode of Toast in Action is brought to you by Rotozip and the Rotosaw Plus. Go to rotozip.com to check out more information and click the link in the description below. Take you right to the website. Friday night. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Tool Talk. Why does Tool Talk return? Because we have a sponsor. And because we have nothing else to talk about. We have no tools. No, and sponsored. We have tons of tools. We're, no, we're, we're weeks out. But uh, what's up, you guys? We're back. Tool Talk. I don't even know what number this is, so let's just t- start with number 10. 10. There we it go. It probably is 10. Those guys know in there. All yeah. right, so Tool Talk. What is Tool Talk? Where me and Eric just kind of talk about the weekly uh, tool situation that's in been this happening. Term, this uh, actually year now. Well, it's been a year since we've done the other one. No, I haven't. No, it's been it's a been couple like months. Three months. But we talk a little bit about tool news and stuff like that and uh, all the good things that are going on over at Tools in Action. I told Eric to write a list down, and he did. I did. I don't Look even know that. what it is yet. Tell me what it is. Just tell me what it is. What are we talking about today? Um, the issues I have with you, the issues I have with Tools in Action, um, and that's about it. All that's right. all I got. Well, hopefully you're resigning today. I am. Today is a great day, guys. All right. Uh, no, let's go over some tool news real fast. Couple cool things. Dremel. Dremel is coming out with a 3D printer. How cool is that? Very cool. About a thousand bucks, you guys. Uh, they uh, with AutoCAD, all kinds of stuff. It looks like they've done it right. They've made it easy. In the past, 3D printers, you know, you could buy them, but they're kind of, uh, you know, not too intuitive. You know, you have to go get these files, convert them, blah, 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 all this stuff. Okay. This looks to be one of the better, easiest systems on the market. To and how use. does it work? Uh, basically, it uses a, a heat plate and it heats up plastic. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's <laughs> no, I, I have no idea man. how it works. It's hilarious. And uh, it builds things. <laughs> I don't know the dimensions or anything like that, but we'll have a write-up over at toolsandaction.com, and might, we might even have a video on one pretty soon. That would be nice. Yeah, what else in That'd tool be really news? Cool. Uh, we got some giveaways tonight, Black too, Decker, which we're going to do later on. Yeah, we're gonna say Black & Decker chainsaws. Uh, cordless. Cordless, corded, and a cord, corded pole saw. Uh-huh. So they came out with a 40-volt and a 20-volt. Uh, Black & Decker's really been pushing some things out lately. Have they? Yeah, I think so. You know, the whole Stanley Black & Decker team has been pushing some stuff out. What else? Um, I don't know. Keep going with rocking with what you're doing. What's your on your list? I got. I want to talk about the Ultimate Tool Bag Giveaway. Let's we've talk got, about it. We've got giveaways, obviously, later on. But the Ultimate Tool Bag Giveaway is December 25th. We've got a lot of good things in there and actually more to come. All you got to do is go to toolsinaction.com and you can actually see what's in the bag and how to enter. Well, actually, to enter, all you have to do is basically connect with us. We have to see you on YouTube, on the Power Tool Forum, or something along that line. And what do we got in the bag? In the so bag, far? you guys, we have a Roller JC10 compressor. We have a RotoZip RotoSaw Plus system. We have a uh, tool bag backpack from Klein that has uh, varied tools in it. It's not going to be full of tools, but it's going to have some uh, various tools in it from There'll them. be some good stuff. Um, and there's one other. Oh, we got the Ego Blower. Ego Blower. Mm-hmm. And I believe there's one other. I just can't think of it right now. I know now. we're missing something, but. I know. That sucks. Yeah. Well, whatever. I hate when it starts getting long and it starts getting itchy. All right, talking about giveaways, you guys, we gave away three lasers like four weeks ago. Did anybody contact us? No. Nobody contacted us from the laser video. Usually, it's one week. If you don't contact us in one week, we're re You know what? We should just give it away today. I don't even know. They're at my house. I don't even know what models they are. It doesn't matter. We're just going to give lasers away today. Well, out of those people, we picked a bunch of people that we're going to give. Out of these people that we picked, give three of them to there, give t-shirts and give this stuff. All right, I was actually going to be nice and be like, you know what? We're going to tell you guys, hey, you have to go back to that video and watch it. And if you want, we're going to send you a laser. But no, since you didn't contact, that's it. It's done. We're One mean. week. Some new people won those lasers today. Here's who won the lasers. Ready? Ready. Mark. Oh, wait, hold on. Before you do it, we ha- you have to, if your name is announced, you have to email us at social at toolsandaction.com. We need to know your screen name, your full address, including your zip code. Yes, screen name, zip code, all that good stuff, and you have a week from today. So today's Friday. By next Friday, if this is unclaimed, it goes to somebody else. Yep. That's what we're going to do. We're going to call them unclaimed. There you go. Yeah, unclaimed prizes in every sure. video. All right, here's what, who the unclaimed is going to. Eric Duplantier. Duplanter. Okay. You're winning a laser. And we uh, don't know which laser it is, but you're going to get one of the three. YouTubeosaurus, you're winning a laser. Mario Duckett, you're winning a laser. You guys have one week from today. If it's not claimed by next Friday, 
we will be mentioning someone else who's winning those lasers next Friday. Exactly. Sorry for the guys that won them in the first one. I mean, it's weird that three people didn't contact us, but that's kind of the new thing we're doing. We're not going to chase you down to uh, give you free stuff. Sorry, it's not happening. Nope. So, a uh, couple things. Uh, you know what? We're going to give out some bonus gifts, too. A couple, some t-shirts. Are we doing all giveaways now? Yeah, let's just do it now. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, then just watch we... this, and then you don't have to watch the rest of the tools in action. No, we got some cool stuff coming up on yeah. an episode. Uh, Nordraw. You won yourself a t-shirt. Social at GT. No, social at, what is it's it? It's social at toolsinaction.com. <laughs> social at toolsinaction.com. Shirt size, name and address, and Nordraw. Put that in yep. there. And what about these two? We got to give this two. Uh, Chad Lanthier. Chad Lanthier, you're going to win yourself a uh, Klein switch drive. Okay? And then th that's about it. That's, a, that's all. Don't you have someone? I put my names on there. That's it. I don't know. All right, but we want to do a couple shout-outs. You guys aren't winning yeah. anything. But uh, Frankie G, congratulations on a baby girl. Yep, congratulations, Frankie G, one of the man, crew members. Awesome. He definitely hooks us up here at Tools in Action. I think he put a sticker on his truck, too, mm -hmm. for us. That's awesome. Uh, we cool. remember stuff like that. But congratulations. Uh, welcome to uh, fatherhood. Well, I don't know. I don't have a kid. Yeah, good Eric luck with does. your sleep now. Right. Well, it's worth it, man. I'm telling you, in the end, it's worth it, without a doubt. No, I know. Robert Johnson. Mm -hmm. Thank yes. you for, we, Robert Johnson actually won the Sonic Crafter, uh -huh. and he made some cool thing. Eric didn't bring it today, but we'll show it in a video when we go back to Eric's garage. Yeah. It said TIA 2014 on it. It was really cool. Yeah, it's cool. Out of wood. He probably used the ball's blades making there. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but, no, but we appreciate it. It's really cool. Yeah. And Nordjaw, I know you won that laser. A lot of times I can't reply to you. I don't know why. Um, okay. What's next, Eric? Um, How about the once a week a union guy wins a t-shirt? Yeah, okay, let's do that. All right, so once a week, you guys, on uh, every tool, obviously, union guys, start commenting below on today's episode, and next week we're going to pick one of you guys, and you win a Tools in Action cruise. So you're shirt. saying they got to be just union guys. If a guy is non-union but is in the field, he can't win? Well, yeah, but, I mean, I thought we were going to say because they have to send a photocopy of their union card. We're just helping the union. Okay. I yeah, mean, how do you want to do other it? guys can win stuff too. You know, if you're in the trades, just put stuff down there. That's how you guys win, you guys. Start commenting, engaging down there. The more we see you, the more we're like, whoa. And the guys that uh, we are like, whoa. We are like, whoa. And uh, you know, don't expect to email us with a tool name and an address if you didn't win anything. We're not dumb. Well, we are dumb, but that one yeah. we're not, we'll catch. It doesn't. We've doesn't had that work, happen yeah. a, a few times. Someone has put a tool in there and yep. a name and been like, "Huh, who's this guy?" Yeah. Uh, it doesn't work. So, and if it does work and we do send it out, we find out that we got scanned. We're gonna announce your name and address on air. Yep, exactly. And then the crew's gonna deal with you. <laughs> and then we're gonna stop giveaways. It's gonna be one of those things, right? Like you know, if one guy messes up, all you have to do push-ups. So it's like America. Why is it like America? Because someone does something bad, like someone burns himself with a gas can, so now everyone's got to suffer and use these piece of junk gas cans now. That's a one idiot. All right, I guess that's good. Yeah, we like America. Um, you guys bitch. a couple people bitched about Ingersoll Rand when I said that that was my favorite uh, impact, the W7150, I think it was. That was just me leaving comments. Oh, okay. Well, then we don't have to talk about it. Okay. Um, we're entitled to have our own favorite brands, I'm sorry. Uh, I like that impact. I think it's one of the better impacts on the market. But just to keep you guys happy, we're going to throw it head to head up against the Milwaukee coming up soon. So we really will find out who the best impact is between those two. Was that impact wrench or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you better get that Milwaukee ready. It's going to get a workout. Oh, I got it. It's already exercising and working out. Get All right, ready. good, good. Uh, promote your business on TIA. That's another yes. idea. You guys cool. that have your businesses, feel free to post your businesses in the comments. Say, hey, anybody in the Charleston area, you know, need trim work, da da da, whatever. Even post better yet, go to the Power Tool Forum, put it on there. We've actually got a section right on there that you can do that. Yeah, so. that's it. Um, we're going to have some light tool fights coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, probably a multi-tool tool fight, but I don't know how that's going down yet. Uh, I got jack tool fight. What the hell is a jack tool fight? I think that's a different uh, channel we got. Uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> no, jacket to a fight. Oh, We're going to have some jacket yeah. stuff because we got some new uh, stuff with the jackets coming yeah, up. Milwaukee's com- and Milwaukee came out with a bunch of new jackets, and actually Bosch came out with a woman's jacket that's a black Right, I think it's jacket. just woman's size. I think it's the same as the guy. No, because it's shaped a little differently, too. Oh, really? Yeah, it's shaped in in the size, I think, too. Oh, nice. So. <laughs> oh, nice. Real good. <laughs> yeah. Real good. All right, cool. Um, so we didn't give one of these away then. Yeah. So one of these is going back into the into the giveaway system. That's the giveaway <laughs> system. What else is on your list? My list is done. All right, people from Michigan out there. Uh, Michigan. Michigan. Okay, why are you singling out people from Michigan? Because I know we've got a bunch of people in Michigan, and I want to know if any of you guys have gone to Chelsea Lumber Company. It, there's like th- three places up there. I guess it's in Chelsea, Michigan. I just want to know. I'm just curious. You better Let- give me some of that money you just got from them. No, what? I can't well, because they told me if Chelsea? I say it, oh. I get paid. They say don't pay the guy in the glasses, yeah, okay. you know. So no, I'm just curious on that. And wait, two, wait, that makes no sense. You have to explain why. Because a guy I know, uh, it's a long story. <laughs> I gotta go curious. see a man about a dog. Yeah, okay. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I know that one. Uh, we talk, oh, you know what? Another thing we got too is we've got our roto zips. We got two roto zips out in the field, and we're actually doing pro videos on actually, them. Actually, we got four out in the field. Well, we got four on the field, and we're actually doing two different videos. So it's kind of like I don't know if you guys remember that Bosch video we put together. Well, Dan put together. We got two roto zips out there, so yes, I'm kind of excited to see those. Go ahead. I know you like hearing sorry. yourself. Well, talk. on this one, you guys, as you notice, roto zip sponsored this episode. They're sponsoring those videos yep. also, so we will make sure that you are known that they sponsored it. That doesn't mean that, uh, you know, it's still real videos. We've gone out and talked to the contractors. Yeah, and we're still letting the contractors say what they want, do what they want on there. So As long as they wear safety glasses. Safety glasses and earplugs. No, you don't have to wear earplugs. No, I know. Well, actually, they do wear safety glasses because when you're doing, a lot of stuff gets, roller zip can create some dust. It's got a system that sucks it out, but these guys, you know, a lot of times they don't want to, especially in a fresh constructed house, when they're trying to whip drywall out, they don't mess around with the uh, hose. Yeah. All right, what else? Yeah. Um, did the giveaways off the tool bag we did. Oh, another thing, guys, let us know what tools, like you can either email us at socialtoolsinaction.com or leave a comment below or in a, any of our other videos. Let us know what tools that we haven't done that you guys actually want to see us do. I mean, whether they're older tools. I know a couple of people wanted us to go back to Harbor Freight and do another Harbor Freight. They did? Yeah. I love Revisit, Harbor Freight. So, but let us know. That we're always curious. We're always looking for new cool Bluetooth things out laser. there. Bluetooth laser. Someone said something about the Bluetooth yep. laser. So we're going to look at that one. Uh, we're going to get this Hilti out in the field, you guys, too. Yeah, we've uh, got two Hilties coming up yeah, that we're going to be doing. I know it's delayed, but we're trying to get, we're working with contractors to get it out because we does not want to just show it to you here. We want to get it out in the field and really just show you guys what it's all about. Yeah. So uh, that's cool. What else? Um, also, guys, Power Tool form don't forget on that that thing's growing there's a lot of good people on there um take it easy dan thanks for stopping no by. i'm putting the bag put the so. bags up here that's next and the other thing too we what i found out the other day genesis well i won't go into that's that a good, abacab what, abacab what's that abacab that's the song genesis thing no i was gonna talk about the m28 battery oh yeah talk yeah. about it so now, Milwaukee didn't design this system, but Genesis has basically, you know, like the Jaws of Life where it cuts through or spreaders. They've got actually, Genesis created one that is really powerful and it's made for the fire departments or like rescue, stuff like that. And it's actually powered by an M28, and I thought that was pretty cool. V28, isn't it? No, M28. Oh, really? V is the old style, okay. M is the new one. And Genesis so. is obviously a manufacturer who makes tools. Rescue tools. Rescue tools. They make really good stuff. Right. So I just saw one the other day and just thought it was cool and thought I'd share it. So if anyone's too interested in that stuff, just go to Genesis. You can take a look at it and they've actually got some videos of it. So, all right. So tonight what we're doing, a lot of manufacturers have been coming out with some backpack. Uh, obviously Vito was, I believe, one of the first ones to market. At least it's the first one we've had. So then we've got the Klein one and we got the Milwaukee who just came out with one too. So we kind of wanted to show them to you because there is definitely a place in the field for these. So Right, and we're not going to look up stats or anything like that. We're just going to kind of just tell you guys no, what we like yeah. the best and why we like them. First of all is weight. The heaviest is going to be the Vito yeah. by far. Um, but I think it's the most uh, secure as in, you know, you drag this thing down the street behind a truck, it's going to last way more than these two would. I would... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. This thing, everything on this pack is heavy duty. But that's the downside because of the weight. 
I think though that you're gonna get a lot more stuff in here. I could be wrong. Oh, no, it's a bigger backpack it's a bigger too. Ba but I also like, which is cool, which the others don't have, is the hook. So if you're in a place and it's either you know wet environment and you don't want to set it down, even though it's got they all got the bottom on a protected. Yeah, they all. But got you can the hang this up, open it up, and access your tools so you're not bending down all the time to get them. Right, so but I do that like has that. the thickest too. Yeah, that yep. has the thickest, and that has the most pockets. So uh, next, you guys, we have the one from Klein, which has a couple. So let's go over the unique features. The unique yes. features on this would be the hook. The hook. And the uh, what else? That's about it. Oh, and well, the, the hand, back. the handle, I think too. Where these are more, what is this, like a nylon type yeah. thing? Where this is actually, it's plastic, but it's got the metal on there. It's like a ballistic and, nylon. And then you could take this off here to open up the back. Yeah. More access, easier access on the Vito. But the weight is... Uh, yeah, you're definitely going to str struggle, but you're going to have more weight with this one. Yeah, a lot of weight. Uh, the Klein, also, the looks, too. This has got leather on Yeah, there. leather accents. You know? I mean, this is just... And the cost. I think this is double the cost of these. Mm -hmm. But like I said, if you're looking for the best bag on the market, you cannot go wrong with Vito Pro Pack. I mean, that's... You know what I'm saying? That is number one, yeah. the best. But the downside is the weight, the weight. and the price. Yep. So next, we're going to look at the client here. Uh, what do you think of the client, Eric? Nice. I like it. I mean, I like it because again, I you know, to me it's big being able to have the tape, the electrical stuff on the outside. Like Dan's opening it up. There's plenty of pockets, plenty of storage to keep your tools organized. So, and I kind of like this hard top right Open here. Open that one. Yeah, the hard top here is cool, you guys. You can put your safety glasses in it. You can put uh, your meters or anything like that in it. But you can see the differences right there. On the Vito, the whole thing opens up, and then you have access to your tools and pockets. On the Klein, it's just a pouch in the front. Yeah. Your actual middle of the bag is where you're going to be able to... Uh, store all the tools. Yeah, store organize. all the tools. And the orange. I like the orange because it kind of gives you an offset, color offset. Yep. So you can see all That's your tools. That's a good point. Uh, another thing about the Klein that I like is... Uh, there's rubber on the inside. There's not on the Vito. There's not on here. So what does that mean? I'm a one hand, one strapper. So when I'm holding it with one strap, the ones without the rubber seem to always tend to slide down a little bit. The ones with the rubber are gonna stay exactly where you put them on your body. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's pretty smart, Dan. I know, Eric. It's like you're reading my mind. Polypropylene base, just like the Vito, not as thick as the Vito. <clears throat> In the Milwaukee, we got next. What's next unique the, about this? Uh, water bottle holder off the top of my head. Okay, this is more in line with the Vito, you guys. So as you open it up right away, you're able to access all your tools and screwdrivers and stuff like that. Polypropylene base on the bottom. Uh, also, with the Vito and the Milwaukee, they have these big pouches up front for like manifold gauges or something like that if mm -hmm. you're an HVAC tech. Um, on the back, nice padding, and I believe this is the only one, yeah, this is the only one that has this Velcro strap here, so you could strap it to a cart and it won't come off. Uh, like the, oh no, this doesn't have rubber. I thought this had rubber. No, just the client has the rubber. Well, I think you can, I mean, I know this is a chest strap right there, but no, I, I guess know. you couldn't really wrap it around. I mean, it's supposed to be made for the chest. It's but. hard to say. Like, those are the thinnest straps. Those are the thickest, and these are the next to thickest. But I feel like the Klein feels best when I'm one-handing mm -hmm. it, you know? Yeah, I kind of like that, how you can put, you could, if you wanted to put little tools or do something, put it in here, too. Yeah, you could clip, nice clip stuff off it. Basically, what we're saying, guys, is you can't go wrong with either pack. Um, here. I'm going to put the price... Oh, what was that? The Milwaukee 2 feels like, in all honesty, in terms of the back, it's got the most padding in the right places because it's right down here where it always is kind of against your back. You probably can't see, but your lower back. Right. You but know. the Milwaukee's got some weight to it, too. The Klein's it does. definitely the lightest. Yeah, without a doubt. And, you know, that light. means a lot, too. If you're going around and you need, you know, you're hauling all over. Oh, yeah. An extra two, three pounds. I mean, It means I know, a lot. Yeah, I, mean, I, know, I know that sounds funny, but when I used to... Being computers, oh, I still am kind of, but, uh, you know, people were like, oh, a two-pound heavier laptop, man, it's hard to carry around, which it was. Well, it is, especially if you're doing it all day and you're lugging and you're bending down, picking it up, lifting it up, picking it up, doing that, walking around. I mean, it does. It takes a toll on your knees, your body, over time. Yeah. And it is. It's just a pain in the butt. You know, like you said, though, two pounds, but it does. Yeah, two pounds. You like, I mean, it just depends. I mean, if you have an hour every day with it on your back, that extra two pounds is, mm -hmm. you know, two pounds 
worth of tools. And you know a two-pound tool could be a small drill or something like that, 12 volt or something, mm -hmm. and it's just extra weight. So you guys make up your own. If I was to say which was my favorite, it's hard to say. It just depends on my application at hand, you know? If I wanted something light and ready to go, I would probably take this. You know, if I wanted uh, something just to protect my tools the most, in fact, my tools are in the Vito right now, mm -hmm. but it's heavy, but I trust them in there because I know yeah. it's got this solid backbone, you know, that's not going to crush, um, you know. And the Milwaukee, I believe, is just a good all-around bag also. So it's really yeah. personal preference. For me, if I wanted a lot of storage, I'd go with the Vito. If I was actually carrying around a laptop or something, the Milwaukee, it's got a spot for it back there. If I just wanted, you know... They're all good with organization, but I tend to like the front style of the organization on this one. Even though the Vito is really nice too, but you're I right, just, Eric. Did, you that know. was the unique with the Milwaukee so, laptop storage. That's huge. Yeah, I just like how you can open this up, and I mean you can't really wow. necessarily. Yeah, that's got a lot of nice pockets. But you in can it. kind of fold it down for the most part once you get weight in there, and you can just store a lot of different things in there. So yeah, as for strength, you guys, I think they're all pretty much in line with each other. Like I said, the Vito is uh, pretty tough, but I think it's overkill tough sometimes. Yeah, for most I mean, we shot that one but, up. I don't know. even know. Did someone take that? I yeah, Travis, Travis took it. Yeah. We shot one up, and it was still... I mean, you know, the Vito is definitely overbuilt, uh, you know, but that's awesome. You know, sometimes that's not a bad thing. No, not at all. I mean, because you, you spend a lot of money on your tools, and you want to protect them. Right, so. right. And, you know... And for someone like downtown Chicago, you're going to have to worry about gunshots, so it's an yeah, important this, thing. Yeah, this thing probably would take a gunshot for you. I bet you it would. You start seeing people walk around with this on the front yeah. of their chest, yeah. walking downtown. Vito Pro Pack. Yeah. So that's it, you guys, for Tool Talk. Hopefully this was an okay Tool Talk. You guys won some stuff. We'll have one. Yep. Uh, we're going to have one for the next... Uh, couple months every Friday is going to be a yeah. tool talk or some tool fight uh, brought to you by Rotozip. We'd like to thank Rotozip for that. Um, and then don't forget to go click the link below and check out their site. Uh, yeah. Rotozip's got some pretty cool tools out lately. Yeah. Uh, like I said, we got some pro videos coming out with them. We're working on them. We're a few weeks away yet with them. I'm just trying to get a lot of uh, inactions. I was surprised at all the different accessories. I knew there was a lot of accessories, but I didn't know there was so much, too. And I was surprised at how many different trades use the Rotozip. Yeah. You yeah, know? definitely. Because, I mean, we, ra we rarely talked about Rotozip before. I don't even think we've done a Rotozip review before. Maybe a long time ago. Yeah, I think but it's maybe been... when we went to the Bosch, I think we did the diamond bit. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, but I, don't I mean, Rotozip's one of those tools where it's like a multi tool, you know? Mm -hmm. You just, it, you, it's, a, it's one of those tools where, man, how would I make that cut or how would I yeah. do that? A Rotozip, chances are it can do it. Yeah. Exactly. And so don't forget, we got the Ultimate Tool Bag giveaway December 25th. For the people who won tonight, email us at social at toolsinaction.com with your name, your screen name, your full address, including your zip code. So we need all that information. All right, you guys, but, have a great weekend, and we will see you Monday. Tools in Action. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.